Hey guys, so today I would like to show you an app that we have created. It's called Slider Pro and I'm really excited to show you this because this should have been a no brainer and a native Wix application or at least a native element, right? But for some reason it's not. So uh, I'm really excited and we have launched this on the Wix app market and let's jump right into it, right? Um, so it's called the Slider Pro and here is a sneak peek as to what it is about. It's just showing off your clients, projects, other images and with ease, like with, with user friendliness, UI, everything, right? And um, I'm excited that we have been able to do this and it's also launched and you should be able to access this. So let me delete this for you and I'll go over everything as to how you can install it, how you can customize it, what, what all customizations you have and what are our future plans, right? So I'll delete this for now and I'll show you how you can install it. So from the left panel or you can just go to the Wix app market and you can just go to the app market and search for Slider Pro. You should be able to find the app very easily. Since I've already installed, you can go to the add elements and you should be able to see it in the app widgets. We have two uh, widgets for now. One is the vertical slider, one is the horizontal slider. I really like the horizontal slider, so I'll start with that. So it's easy, you can just drag and drop just like this. And then there it is, right? And this is how you can, it's completely responsive. It's customizable. You can increase the length. You can also increase, let's say, if you want to increase the height, everything, right? So let me have the height, length with something like this. And I'll place it right in the center over here. Now, good thing about this is um, you can have a lot of customizations. But before that, I'll show you how you can add the images. So to add the images, you need to go to your CMS or your collections or your database. Um, you can go to your collections and you can go to the slider data. Um, it's, it will also be named slider pro. You can also find it in your dashboard, but you can also access it from your editor. You can just click on it and you should be able to just see your images right over here. You can add as many images as you want. You can delete this. You can add your own images. You can add them with colors, backgrounds, anything that you want. And just to give you a sneak peek, we will also have a column to add a link so that when your users, your visitors click on one of the logos, it can redirect them to that link if you want. Right. So that's something that's coming in the future. Um, so let's see. And this is how simply you can just add images. That's it. That's as simple as it can get. Now, Let's see how what all customizations you have with Slider Pro. The customizations that you have are pretty intuitive and it's very easy to handle. So uh, let's click on settings and then you can see all of these animations, all of these customizations. We have duration, direction, number of rows, images, like the image heights and the bokeh effect. I love all. Let's go one by one, right? So let's start with the direction, right? Right now we have the animation towards left L let's make them right there you go it just shifts to right let's have alternate i really like this one it goes alternate um let's see if you want to keep it left and you just want one row instead of zero what is zero rows it is nothing but it automatically adds a number of rows based on the height of the widget let's say you just want one row and you want the image height to be let's say 120 there you go the image height changes let's say you want it to be 150 there it, goes. it becomes bigger and bigger. Let's roll it back to 100. And I think this is perfect. You see this bokeh effect right over here. We can also remove it if we need it. So let's try just uncheck this. And there you see there's no bokeh effect anymore. It just slides in. But I really like the bokeh effect. And I think all of you guys will love to. Um, and I've also have your how you can add the slider pro, pro collection and how you can add images and logos. Do check that as well. Um, Amazing. And as you see, coming soon, you can connect your own collections down the line. So we are really excited to ship this for you. Now let's preview it, right? Let's, we have our animations, how we want. We want it to be left. We have the speed. We have the bokeh effects. We have the image heights, the number of rows, everything set up. Let's preview it. Isn't this beautiful, right? We have this simple animation, but so elegant at the same time. Um, also, what you have taken care of is ADA and accessible compatibility. So once you hover over it, the animation to stop, right? Um, this is 
to make sure we are compatible with all the ADA and accessible compatibilities and we have done that as well. So this is it guys, this is how the slider pro works. It's a simple uh, animation of how you can, let's also check the vertical slider, right? It's a simple animation, very elegant, very beautiful. You can change the colors, you can change, let's say you wanna change the background of this for some reason, you can obviously go to the background and change this as well. There you go, you can change, you can pick up different colors, you have all the customizations for you. Let's, let's do something, let's delete this and let's add the vertical slider. I think you, you, some, some users will really like that, right? So you can just add the vertical slider right here and you can see. Now, the reason there are more images here because it just fills it up. But what we can do is let's say we decrease the height of this and give it a minute. It will um, load itself and let's preview it. I think it will adjust itself. There you go. So it auto adjusts the number of columns that will be there. But you can manually also set them up. Let's say I just want one. I don't want so many, I'll just keep one, there you go, uh, you can adjust the image width if you want, let's say I want them to go down, you can adjust the duration and also the bokeh effect, but let's say I want to build something, let's say I keep this here, I'll keep this here, I'll have this set up like this, there you go, isn't this beautiful, isn't this elegant and you can just preview this and this is also ADA and accessible compatibility. So there it is guys, this is Slider Pro and I hope uh, you guys can use this on your websites and it can help you with making your website more friendly, more uh, get more visitors, show off your clientele with ease, right? Um, please let us know if you have any feedback, any recommendations or anything we can add to this that can improve this. Um, and I'm really excited to ship this to you. Thank you so much and let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon.